Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It has absolutely turned winter time in Tennessee since the last time I did one of these videos. Um, man, it's kind of crazy. It's like we had 70s, 70s, 70 degree days, and then all of a sudden, bam, it's like highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s. So winter time is definitely here. Some of y'all are probably watching this from Canada or, or somewhere in the Northern United States, and you're probably like, no, no, uh, that's not winter hoss, but it's winter here in Tennessee where I live. But anyway, y'all look out there at that pretty lake. Ain't that pretty? It's a beautiful morning. It's about 37 degrees this morning. Bright sunshine, calm wind. We're gonna go out here and, you know, the last few videos I've done, we've been mainly fishing brush, that kind of thing for crappie. So we'll see what we do today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find some on some docks. As that water temperature comes down, they really get on docks really good this time of year around my house. So let's get out here. That's enough talking. Let's see what we can do. We'll, we'll do whatever we have to do to catch them, but I believe we'll catch some off docks and probably some off brush too. But stay tuned, let's have some fun. All right, guys, we found us a school of crappie right up here. I'm gonna ease up here and see if I can get one of them to bite. I'll show y'all what I'm starting with right here. This is just a, a 1 32nd ounce jig head, little minnow style jig head with a salt and pepper color crappie magnet. It's got some silver flake, got some black flake. I've got just a little bit of chartreuse right there on the tail. That's what we're gonna start out with, four pound vicious panfish mono uh, and I've just got a little six foot medium light action rod 2500 size Daiwa legalis reel and that's what we're going to start with I'm going to get up in here and see if we can get a couple of these crappie to bite the water it's real clear in this lake right now it's probably I mean I can probably see that jig down four to five feet so I just want something that's real natural. That's why I chose that color that I chose. A lot of bluegill in this spot, but there's a lot of crappie in there too. There's fish right there, first cast. That's a good crappie too. I can tell by the way he's fighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all look here, what a start. What about a two pounder to start the morning? That is a stud right there, buddy. I mean a stud. Come here, oh, come on. Come here. Oh, what a crappie. Good gracious, what a start. God, y'all believe that? That's unreal. Man, I just threw that thing in there and I counted it down about nine seconds. Thump, I set the hook and I knew immediately it was a dang good one. He's gonna go over two pounds, I promise you. Let's weigh him and see. I know a lot of times on this camera, it's hard to tell really how big these fish are, but that's a two pounder all day. Ain't no doubt about it. Get my scale going here. Check that out. 220. 220. That's a big crappie. I don't care where you are. That's a doggone big crappie. Big old black one. Golly, what a fish. That's a heck of a way to start the morning, ain't it? First fish of the day, almost a two and a quarter pounder. He's pretty. I just wanted to show him to y'all. That's a, that's a dang good fish. Let's get him back. Here he goes, when they get that big. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I have filleted some that big, but when they get that big, I like to let them go. See you, girl. I don't know about y'all, but I'm pretty excited to get back over there and make another cast, so 
Let's do it. Some people would probably say that's bad luck to catch a fish like that on your first cast, but I don't much believe in luck. Because we're going to go right back in there and catch us another one. Go watch and see. Another doggone good one too. An old black nose one here. I mean, he ain't no two pounder, but he's a nice one. Now that was my third cast. I told y'all it wasn't bad luck to catch one on the first cast. See, now I'm just gonna tell y'all, you make your own luck out here. I'm just, I'm just telling it like it is. I know fishermen are some of the most superstitious people in the world, but really the bottom line is you make your own luck when it comes to fishing. Well, that one knocked the fire out of it. I'm talking about. Thump. I like that. I am into that. That's worth getting out here in a 37 degree day. Another pretty one. <laughs> the way we started off, they're they're looking kind of smallish, but I mean that's still a 11 inch crappie back in there boy all I'm doing I'm just uh, I'm just throwing that jig in there and I'm counting it down to about nine ten seconds which is about ten foot deep and then I'm just easing it back to me real slow there he is Nice one. Well, this cold weather's really got these fish feeding up. They're starting to fatten up, get thick. Another real good fish. 12 and a half inches, probably. Nothing wrong with that. They go black. This particular lake, it's mostly blacks and black noses. There are a few whites in here. But they're few and far between. It's it's mostly black crappie and black nose crappie. Got him. I mean, as soon as I got it down there to depth, I tightened up on that line. Thump. This is another big fish. Big black nose one here. Let's see if we can flip him. Come on in here. Golly. Mm, them are some nice ones. I'll check that one out. That big black nose. He's pretty. <laughs> ah, it's fun. I got them fired up now. I got them going. I think I picked the right jig color this morning too. See, all I did right there, I just changed angles. And I'm throwing a different jig now, but I don't think that was so much the jig as it was the angle. I knew those fish, well, they come off, but that was another nice one. I knew those fish were still in there. They hadn't left. So I just, I 
got my trolling motor and I put it on spot lock on the up upwind of these fish. I got back here on the back deck and I, I put it in there and came through there at a different angle. They haven't seen my jig come through there at that angle yet and I trigger one, one or two more of those fish to bite. That's very important, especially anytime you're fishing for a big school of fish and you, you catch four or five out of it, they kind of get funky. They get smart pretty quick. But you can, uh, you can play around with different angles and different colors of jigs and stuff, and usually you can get a few more bites out of that school. There we go. We got in there that time, buddy. Yes. Another pretty good one. A little black. He's a keeper, but this is lucky day today. I'm not gonna keep any today. There he is. Well, that one knocked the fire out of it. I mean, thump. That's a wild crappie. I, I see why it's a black nose. It's funny that of the crappie species, in my opinion, I think the black nose is definitely the one that's the most feisty. They'll come up and jump like a bass. Cool fish. Pretty son of a gun getting thick boy they're getting that big feedback put on here in another month or so they'll do they'll be just blowed up i mean a pound three-quarter fish like that'll way close to two pounds i mean they they get fat this time of the year what a nice one there again at changing that angle like that made all the difference in catching a few more fish off of that hole There's a fish. Good fish too. That one hit on the fall. I lifted up on it and he had it. I wasn't for sure if I was getting to those fish. Whew. That's risky on four pound line. I wasn't for sure if I was getting to them. <laughs> Didn't take long to find out. That's a pretty that's another good one. Another black nose. That's a pretty neat little deal right there. So I'll try to explain this to y'all. Y'all see that dock right there. It's it's got a lot of brush on it right up here, and some of that brush is falling off of this bluff and it's out under that dock. Well, that dock is is a solid platform. So obviously it doesn't have any slips that you can shoot. When you're when you're faced with a situation like that, always think about the position of the sun because these fish will move on these docks throughout the day in relation to the position of the sun so right now the sun is positioned straight across the lake from me so it's got these fish positioned right under that walkway right on the back side of this dock so I, i'm able to shoot my jig right in there like that now later in the day when that sun gets straight up and down, they're gonna get straight under that dock and there's no way I would be able to get to those fish. 
but I can get to them right now. That's a pretty cool deal. slabs on this hole that's another one close to two pound right there I promise you look at that stud golly that fish is thick wow mm. shooting docks guys I'm telling you they'll live on them year round but in the fall and winter, if your lake's got them, they probably live on them really good. It is not a hard technique to do. Not something hard to learn. I've taught kids how to do this. Pull that jig, let it come to about the first guide on your rod, about right in there. Grab that jig with the hook point facing away from you. Put a good bow in your rod, shoot it in there. Takes a little bit of practice, but it's not near as hard as you would think. All right, everybody, that is gonna wrap it up for today. I haven't been crappie fishing on this particular lake in probably close to a month now. Um, so did a lot of looking today, a lot of just scanning and, and looking for schools of crappie, trying to see which docks had them, which treetops had them. Um, and it'll change as the water level comes on down, as the water temperature comes on down, all that changes. So I was just trying to kind of get familiar. Every year on these lakes, some of the places where you've caught them in the past will have them, and some of the places won't, you know, it, it's different from year to year. So that's what I did today, but it, all in all, it was a good day. I caught some really big ones. The size was really good, and I caught a pretty good number of them too. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. I appreciate you watching as always. If you hadn't yet, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time right here, Brandon Lester Fishing.